Hello YouTube and welcome to my first tutorial. It's going to be on this simple Nordic style house. It's a little beaten up and it's just going to be what you see at the moment and in the next video we'll be doing an interior and in the video after that we'll be doing some of the exterior landscaping to make it look like it fits into an environment rather than on this super flat world cows alright so let's get started with this little Nordic house that I'm going to start for you it's going to be a simple design that I use quite a lot for starting off on getting a style going so you start off four logs three gaps in between then you go across three gaps three gaps and uh, so you've got this L shape cross again and again so that's the basic size house that I start off with when I'm trying to come up with a new style and it's just gap of three, gap of three on the sides it's two and on the longer part it's three okay so I've build them up by two each and then across just a straight line of sideways logs Okay, so now we're going to start making the roof part. It's just going to be a simple going up with a V shape. We'll do that on both ends of the house. And then this part's optional, but I prefer doing it. That's going into the inside of the house as well. And adding the exact same for me it just gives a bit more sense of a realism it actually looks like the structure is being held up properly I mean, it does sacrifice some interior stuff but it also makes it more realistic and helps helps with the interior sometimes so there's your basic frame of the house okay so all we're going to do for now is just fill all of these gaps in with cobblestone There you go, and now you just need to decide where you want your door to be. Normally I go for the middle here, but I think this time I might go for this side here. So there's your main frame. So I'm going to start doing the roof next. I'm going to need hay and some stairs. I'm going to use spruce wood stairs. Okay, so just go along the top of all these logs with the hay like this and then come on the inside three upside down stairs on the back of the hay come here three upside down stairs this side three upside down stairs and you go on top and I can place all the hay along in a straight line again now it's up to you which way you want to do the hay some people will do it this way with the pattern going there or with the actual hay coming out like this doesn't really matter I just find it easier doing this. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing that until all of the roof is finished. Okay, so I've left the te this top piece undone because I'm going to use slabs to create the top rather than another piece of hay. But for now, we're just going to work on these end pieces. So, just in here, we're going to place some stairs 
just to get this little ridged look the same on the other side the and the okay now you're ready for the outside so I'm going to just do stirs going up both sides and then underneath we'll have upside down stairs Okay, and this middle piece, one upside down one, and that should be your basic frame. Go around to this side. Okay, so now you've got your two end pieces done. We're just going to go all along here with upside down stairs, just all on the logs on both long sides. Okay, now I'm going to work on these top pieces here. So I'm going to go and find spruce wood slabs, dark oak stairs, and dark oak slabs. Starting on the top, I'm going to go from the middle, spruce planks, uh, slabs, sorry. I want five of those. Then we want three double slabs. And then we can go on to the dark oak. So two dark oak slabs, stir, and a slab on top. Same on this side. Two dark oak double slabs, stir, and then a slab on top. Yep, so I'll put two on top just because it looks a bit thin. I'll show. Just like this. Doesn't look too bad, but I prefer it with both slabs on top. Okay, so we've just left that as it is for now. And this top piece here, you're going to take out these three blocks. I'm going to place a stir there, upside down stir there, and get a fence post. Okay, and this is going to be where the smoke from the hearth is going to be able to come out. Put slabs across there, across there, and across there. So, how should we look? something like this at the moment right at the moment it's looking very clean and a bit boring so we're going to mix that up a bit now going to get some stone bricks and go all around the bottom here with just a layer of stone bricks and then on top of them stone bricks place a layer of stone brick stairs. Okay, so that's the basic of the house. Now I'm going to start doing some randomization, randomization and making it look a bit prettier. Because at the moment it's okay, but it's very boring. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to make this outer wall of stone brick that we've just made look a lot more crumbled and broken down and to do that I'm just going to add a few blocks here and there where we can and I'm also going to grab a cobblestone wall just to throw in like this okay so this randomization bit doesn't have to be perfect just to make it look a little bit crumbled, a little bit worn and battered. Yeah. I'm gonna go all along the sit all around the edge, just doing pretty much the same thing everywhere we can. Everywhere we find a bit. Just throw a cobblestone wall every now and then. Change the direction of some of the stairs so you get little gaps like this. Upside down stairs or up that way around. And underneath bits like this put the stone brick so like here here probably missed a few round here haven't I yet one two three okay I'm just gonna go all around every side just exposing some of the insides
Okay, so that's it for a bit of randomization. Also now, nearly done on that bottom bit. Just gonna have one or two, three, one or two, uh, don't even know what I'm saying now. Just gonna have a block every now and then. A mossy stone brick. Don't wanna overdo this because the green is quite overpowering on this sort of a build. And every now and then cracked stone brick. And again this just adds to the messiness of the build, makes it look a bit more aged. Okay, there you go, that's it for the outside. Back to the roof. One more thing I'm going to say for this. Real simple. Just every now and then knock out a block in the hay in the roof just to make the roof look a bit more beaten up doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to have any sort of pattern to it just one or two blocks every now and then careful not to break the inside of the house fix that Find my door. Okay, and the only thing that I have forgot is on the inside, when you do this, you will get these bits exposed, so just fill them in with either full blocks or double slabs. Just to keep everything nice and neat inside. That all looks fine. And then you're ready for the interior. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, rate, like, dislike, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.